is good you it's your boy Ty back here with another video and in this video today guys we're gonna be ranking basically every single diamond in NBA 2k24 my team on a tier list now we have to have two separate ones because there are over 70 total guys here but i feel like a lot of these guys i didn't want to leave off like did i want to leave russell westbrook off no because a lot of people are losing it using him i didn't want to leave like a guy like mo cheeks off because he is a season reward and even a guy that came out in like season two like devin booker or, or, or like paul george i mean to say is still absolutely elite so i didn't really want to leave anybody off and so we are just going to have a ton of people to go over and talk about today we're going to start on this one before before heading into our other one. And as we started off with Diamond Joe Johnson, if you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button. Really do appreciate all of the recent support. You guys have been going absolutely crazy. For ISO Joe, I think C tier is the right spot. I don't hate the card. What I do not like with ISO Joe is that uh, I think his release is just too slow. I mean, I, I, the rest of the card is fine. I don't think the rest of the card is bad, anything like that. I just think the release just leaves a little bit to be desired. And I think when we're talking about some of the best, uh, you know, shooting guards in the game, that's what hurts him from me, you know, hyping him up into B tier, A tier. John Wall, another card I'm not super high on. Now, I know some people might want to think John Wall is, you know, B tier, maybe even A tier. But the problem I have with John Wall is this. The low three ball, the lack of defense. He's only 6'3". Last year, I think he was 6'4". I just think that, that, that there's some problems with John Wall. Yes, he does have a good release. Yes, Duncan the boy is going to be immaculate. He's going to be tough to stop. But I just don't think the card's perfect. Drew Holiday up next, S tier. I don't want to sit here and gas Drew Holiday like I have been for the last two months. But he is still one of my favorite cards to use and to run in the entire game. I feel like his offense, once you figure out his release, is underrated. And obviously, defensively, Drew Holiday is an absolute menace from top to bottom i just don't think there's many better options than diamond drew holiday in the entire game kareem abdul jabbar up next b tier maybe i mean i still like kareem i still i, I still want to you know put some respect on kareem's name not that i think you know he's the best player in the game but i mean look he's seven two he's gonna compete on the interior he's gonna do a lot of good things for you guys and i think we need to put some respect on kareem in my team Kawhi, s tier a tier i mean pick pick what you want my thing with Kawhi is this. I'm going to move him to S tier for now. Still defensively, he's one of the best cards in the entire game. And, and, and it's crazy, you know, saying that because he's only 6'7". You know, he, he came out how long ago? Over a month ago. Like, it's crazy that he's still one of the best defensive players in the game. But he absolutely is. Keegan Murray up next. I mean, C tier maybe. I, I don't think the card is totally worthless. But I don't think he's great. You know, he's going to knock down some shots. High three ball, decent enough defense. He's fine. But it starts and ends with that release. It's just not great. KD, K Disney up next. KD's better than Keegan Murray. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I'm going to go C tier with KD. I don't get why people still gas KD to this point. Like, his release is slow. He doesn't play great defense. If you're still gassing KD at this point, I don't know what you're doing. Kwame Brown up next. Perfect addition to A tier. Kwame's fantastic. Like, is he, in my opinion, as good as Drew or Kawhi? No. But I do think he is that next level good for that power forward position. And I think for Kwame Brown, it's simple. It all starts with this. You know, his release is really, really, really good really quick relatively easy time when you do get used to it and he's still got a decent player but gonna play good defense Kwame Brown A tier I think is where he deserves I mean Kyle Kuzma I'm gonna throw a D tier I don't think he's even as good as Kevin Durant or Keegan Murray like I, I know I know he was a locker code and I know like last year he was one of the best players in the game because of that release but those days have came and went like he is no longer what he once was as being one of the best overall you know small forwards in the entire game those days are gone for Mr. Kyle Kuzma. Kyrie Irving, I'm going to go C tier. When there was a challenge for making four pointers, I mean, Kyrie really helped me get it done super quickly. So I respect Kyrie for that. I think his releases is, is or his release is easier to green than nearly anybody else's in my team. But I don't think any of those things are making him above C tier. I think C tier for Kyrie is what he deserves. Lamar Odom, I honestly don't love Lamar. I'm going to put him at C tier. I do think he's better than a guy like Kyle Kuzma. But do I think the card's great? Do I think he's, you know, a card I definitely would, would run if I'm you guys? Probably not. He's fine. I'm going to go C tier. LaMelo Ball up next. I, I, look, I don't actually hate LaMelo. And I think when we're talking about diamonds, I'd go B tier. He's better than Kyrie and John Wall. Definitely not as good as you, Holiday. The problem with LaMelo Ball is this. 
current gen, he still has that release that you guys might remember, the Lamelo Ball release on current gen, basically the Tim Thomas base. On next gen, the release isn't nearly as good. So I think that's that's the that's the question we have to ask ourselves. Even on next gen, with his release not being great, he is still good. Like he's still decent. Why? Because he's got good length defensively. He's still solid. Still gonna do some things on the court. But on current gen, Lamelo is absolutely fantastic. Latrell Sprewa, I'm gonna put him at B tier. The card's not horrible. Is he a card like I'd be like, yes, go get him in salary cap. No, I mean you can and he's fine like you can play him but he's not a card like i'd be like man go out of your way to get him i mean he's fine you again you can use him and have a lot of success with spree it's just not that next level good in my team carter is next level good as lebron james in my opinion probably your best diamond in the entire game right now you guys could argue you whoever you want that's fine but i think lebron is just so good it's crazy that lebron came out as as long ago as he did like we're due for a new lebron this lebron james and he could could literally play forever that card is so 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 good Lonzo ball up next i'm gonna throw him in b tier right with lamello like lonzo's defense is just so good now are there better guys to run for what you want out of lamello ball absolutely like even a drew holiday right why is he better than lamello ball well he's gonna basically be lamello defensively with just a little more offense i mean lamello's fine for his time i actually did like the card it's just that time is no longer a thing luo dang at this point i'm gonna go a tier I still like Luo Dang. Now, if you're wondering why, get a knockdown shot, still play great defense. There's just really no negatives I can say about Luo Dang. Like, I, I just, there, there's nothing wrong with the card. Decent release, Donovan Mitchell base on quick is fine. Has good defense, good player model at 6'9". There's nothing bad I could even say about Luo Dang. Mo Cheeks, first F tier card. Honestly, guys, I've not even looked at the stats and badges of Mo Cheeks. So if you are sitting up here and you're a big Mo Cheeks fan, I'm sorry, okay? I'm wrong, maybe. I don't know. I'm just, is Mo Cheeks. When was the last time we saw a decent enough Mo Cheeks card in my team? It's probably been a very long time. Diamond MJ up next. Call me crazy. I'm putting him at B. Uh, B tier is probably too high. C tier. I still don't hate Diamond MJ, though, in my team. I mean, obviously, now that we have the pink diamond that with the duo goes to an opal, Diamond MJ is not going to get respected. But Diamond MJ is still going to play a lot of defense. And he's slight just slightly worse than the opal or than the pink diamond that turns to opal like obviously the other one gives you way more offense but this one defensively still gonna be a problem paulo boncaro up next this one's tough i think he is deserving of s tier i do i do like lebron james more i need to uh, kind of make that clear but i really do like boncaro especially at the power forward position I think the card is absolutely fantastic in my team. Next up, guys, Pat Ewing. I like Pat Ewing. I'm going to throw him in B tier right there with Kareem. You could maybe argue A tier because Pat Ewing probably does give you slightly more than Kareem. But I think both cards are, are relatively similar, relatively going to give you the same exact things on the court. So again, whoever you like more, that's totally up to you. I can't tell you who to like more, but they are both really solid for their respective positions. Paul George up next. Throw him at A tier. It is crazy to me that Paul George came out that long ago and is still this good like I, I i don't understand it it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me why paul george is still as good as he is because he came out literally in season two in the freaky set and uh and when he came out i really didn't hype him up too much now a lot of you guys did the paul george glitch got a bunch of mt this card by himself though is good in his own right penny hardaway up next i like penny man I think I got to throw him at S tier right there with Drew because it's preference based. Most people watching this video are probably going to have more success with Penny Hardaway than Drew Holiday. And so if I do not put Penny at S tier, I feel like I'm not making this tier list how it should be made. And that's my ultimate goal to make a good tier list to help you guys have success. Penny Hardaway, if you got him, if you liked him for Kobe, still absolutely elite. RJ Barrett, throw him right there with Latrell Sprewell. Well, both those cards get to give you basically the same thing on the court. Get to play good defense. Offensively, I don't even know. If, like, they're obviously not the best. But neither of them, in my opinion, are bad offensively. Like, they're both just fine. Both cards you can use and have some success with. Ray Allen stinks, man. Like, I, I, I'm... I, I'm putting Ray Allen at D tier. And a lot of people might get mad at me. Diamond MJ is so much better than Ray Allen. It's literally not even close. Like Ray Allen in the past, in past years, has at least had a good release. This year, his release isn't even good. Like there's nothing on the court Ray Allen does at all. And I'm not trying to sit here and be mean. It's the truth. Rex Chapman, I've actually not used this card yet. I haven't heard a ton of good things about him. I'm gonna put him at B tier just because, again, people haven't said too many good things about Rex Chapman for what I know. If I'm wrong on Rex, let me know down below in the comments because I absolutely could be. That's just kind of my brief overview, putting him at B tier. Ron Artest up next. Ron Artest, I like Ron. And I think if I don't put him at S tier, I'm just not doing this list good. 
I think he's S tier, and I know this list is going to have a lot of S tier diamonds, but how do I separate a Ron Artest and Kawhi? I just don't think I can. How do I set up, separate a Penny and Drew? I just don't think I can. And, and I think especially with how my A tier is shaped, like A tier, the guys at A tier are fantastic, but there is levels to it, right? The guys at S tier are really good. They're just not quite, or the guys at A tier are really good, just not quite to that S tier caliber. Rudy G up next. He's A tier as well, right there with Luol. Now, whoever you prefer between Rudy and Luol is fine. I personally prefer Rudy, but if you prefer Luol Deng, that is fine as well. Both the cards can go out there and compete at a really high level. Luol probably a little better defensively. Uh, Rudy probably a little better offensively. Rudy Gobert up next. I mean, here's the tough part. I think he's C tier, and I'm throwing Shaq at C tier too. It's not a bad thing. Kareem's better than him. Patrick Ewing's better than him, though. Like, I'm not trying to sit here and hate on it, but at least Kareem, I know his three ball is not super high, but he gives you that stretch ability. At least Patrick Ewing gives you that stretch ability. Rudy, Shaq, they don't. And I think that's the kind of problem I'm seeing right now when I'm doing this tier list is it's like, I like Rudy. He just can't go any higher. Russell Westbrook, Man, I do not like this card. I mean, am, am I putting him too low by putting him a D tier maybe? But that's where I'm putting him. His release is baited. The game is not ran by rim running point guards. His defense is fine, not great. I mean, if you're running Russell Westbrook, it's fine. It's cool. I just do and not love the card. SGA up next. I'm going to put SGA at A tier. I mean, you could argue S tier if you do like offensive point guards. The problem I'm seeing right now with SGA is, is he the level of Penny or Drew? You could argue yes. For me personally, I don't quite think so. And that's why I'm putting him at A tier. Sean Kemp, I think this card sucks. I mean, I, I really do. I'll put him at B tier, but I do not like Sean Kemp. Like he can't play center. And you're looking at a power forward in late January that post duel when he becomes a pink diamond doesn't get clamps. I mean, what are we talking about here? And maybe part of the reason I don't like Sean Kemp because I'm not the biggest fan of that release. I think that release is, is way, way, way overhyped this year. I think it's way too slow. I don't know. You guys can like Sean Kemp. I do not think the card is great in my team. Tim, du Tim Duncan, look. He's going to be Tim Duncan. Going to give you the stretch uh, ability. I mean, he's he's going to be a power forward that defensively can hold it down. I, I'm, not a, I'm not a massive fan of Tim. I'm not going to recommend spending up on him. Obviously, don't run the duo with Tony Parker. I think he's better than Sean Kemp, though. I'll put him at a uh, B tier. Tony Kukoc, I mean, C tier, I guess. And you guys might argue KD's too low. I, I, I probably, I don't know, KD maybe could go B tier. I just think Kukoc is so mid. Like, throw him right in there with the Lamar. I mean, honestly, throw him right in there with KD. Those guys are all very mid in what they do. They're fine. You can run them out success with them, but they are ultimately mid. Tony Parker, F tier. That card is going to do nothing for you guys. going to be a bona fide scrub for you on the court. Tyler Hero, not great, but he at least is 6'5". I don't like Tyler Hero. I'm throwing him at C tier. I think his release is horrible. I, I just, I don't, I don't like the card. I've never liked Tyler Hero last year, this year. It does not matter. I'm throwing him at C tier. Halliburton, I mean, D tier. You're not quite F tier, but you are not good. If you're using Tyrese Halliburton, I am sorry. That's all I can say. Walt Frazier, I think he's going to be in salary cap. I don't know. Going to play some defense. I guess I'll throw him at D tier, but I'm, I'm not super hype about the card. Wilt, obviously C tier. Anywhere where uh, Rudy, where Shaq is, that's obviously where Wilt's got to be. I think C tier is a good spot for him. Last, certainly not least, Zion Williamson. I'll, I'll give him B tier. I'd like Zion more than KD, Lamar, and Keegan, but he is not great in my team. So for our tier list, we'll come back to it. That's what we got. Next tier list, guys, Allen Iverson. Where would Allen Iverson be on this list? That's the question I have to ask myself. And I think C tier is the right spot. I don't hate it. It's weird. Last year, years past, I've hated Allen Iverson cards. This year, I actually don't hate him. Like, I think offensively, he does enough as a cheese ball to, that, I, that I at least respect the card. I think C tier is where he belongs. Shangun up next. Now, again, where would Shangun be on this list? I think B tier is the right spot. Shangun's fine. I just don't think he does anything that really separates himself at that center or power forward position. I don't think his defense is great. His release is fine, not great. But I think at the end of the day, B tier is where I got to go with him. Andre Iguodala up next. I, where would I go with Iggy? Probably A tier, honestly. I like Iggy in my team. And I know he's not like the most flashy player. I know he's not a player that you guys are going to look at and be like, Ty, for real. But like, he, he's going to hoop for you. He's going to play good defense, knock an open shots. I got Iggy at A tier. Anthony Simon, C tier. I, 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 I don't hate him. It's just his defense isn't going to be great. And between him and Allen Iverson, they're both going to be liabilities defensively. So play whoever you want and whoever's going to be better offensively for you. Anthony Davis, I think he's better than Shangun, and I think AD's right in there with like a Kwame Brown type of player. I'm going to put him at A tier. If you want to argue S tier for AD, I know a lot of people love him. Okay, cool. I'm not going to argue against that. 
Ant-Man Anthony Edwards, I think Ant stinks. Like, when you look at shooting guards, is he to the level of MJ Joe Johnson? I don't think so. I'm putting Anthony Edwards at D tier. And it's crazy because in play now, I actually don't mind Ant. Like, I use the play now Timberwolves, and Ant's fine. He's not great, but he's fine. It's just a whole different game in my team. It really is. The pace of play, how important it is to have a, you know, quick release. Everything's just so different in my team than play now. Ant is D tier. Bam Adebayo up next. I... I want to go S tier with Bam. I think with his defense, guys, you got to put him at that S tier. I, I do. I mean, he gives you so much on the court. His release is so easy to time, easy to green. Bam is an easy addition for me into S tier. His defense is off the charts good. Boyan Bogdanovich up next. I mean, this card stinks. D tier. I mean, I, it, I, if you got him out of your equal chance pack, all I can honestly say is I'm sorry. This card stinks. And, and, and I'm not trying to just sit here and be mean. Like, boy, I'm, I guess can play for some people. But for me, he'll never play. Bradley Beal up next. I don't hate Brad Beal. Uh, B tier probably. I mean, you could maybe even argue A tier. But I think SGA is just so much better than him. Brad Beal can play a little bit though. And if, if, if you got collector level Brad Beal and you want to play with him, fine. Like, I, I'm not going to just sit here and hate on Brad Beal this entire video. It's just not a card I'm, uh, you know, excited about picking up this Brandon Roy I still think is B tier like I think he's to the level of like an RJ Barrett type card I think he's better than obviously MJ at this stage like the thing with Brandon Roy is offensively he's still gonna be so good defensively obviously not gonna be great but offensively speaking gonna be absolutely elite Chris Bosh at this stage C tier and I like Chris Bosh honestly still to this day I will sit up here in front of you guys and hype up Bosch. But I think when you're comparing him to like a Shane Goon, obviously compared to an AD, he's just not that elite level. Clyde is good, man. I think Clyde is A tier. And I'm sorry if I slandered Clyde in my shooting guard tier list. A lot of people got mad at it. And again, these cards are in the player market today. And I think Clyde's value isn't even the worst. The problem I have with Clyde is this. Like defensively, he's mid. He's not a great shooter. So it's like he's just an attacking the rim, slashing type of player. And I just think those guys in 2K are not great. David Robinson, S tier. No brainer here. In my opinion, one of the best centers in the entire game. Obviously, I prefer Wemby. Obviously, you know, after Wemby, a lot of people will say D-Rob. I'm in that same boat. I think D-Rob is in that next tier good. I'm putting him at S tier. DeJounte Murray up next. Now, this one is tough because I don't even hate DeJounte. Is he C tier? Is he B tier? I honestly think he's B tier. If you're asking me DeJounte Murray or Tyler here, I'm taking DeJounte Murray. I think his movement is good. His release is fine. I think B tier is where he belongs. Obviously, nobody really runs him. Super kind of underrated in my team. DeMarcus Cousins, B tier. I like Boogie. Good player, model player build. Gonna play enough defense. I honestly like him more at the power forward position than the center position. But for Boogie, it all really starts and ends with that player, model player build. I mean, he's got an incredible, incredible, incredible player build. And that helps the card so, so much. Devin Booker up next. I've got to throw him in S tier. For me personally, I prefer Drew. I prefer Penny. But Devin Booker is an S tier point guard in my team. Offensively, one of the best players in the game. Some people have even asked me, yo, Ty, next to MJ, next to Scotty, are you running Devin Booker? I'm personally not right now, but I think he probably is the best guy to be running next to those two guys. Devin Vassell. C tier, I guess. I mean, if you look at Devin Vassell's stats and badges, they're fine. I just his is Sig stink. And that's a big problem with him. I mean, honestly. He's right there with Anthony Edwards at D tier. I'm not going to sit here and hype up a garbage man. Dominic Wilkins, you stink too. Go ahead and get into D tier. Card that doesn't stink is Dante DiVincenzo. I'm going to go A tier, and I know a lot of people are going to get mad. I like Dante DiVincenzo a lot. I don't think he's as good as Drew. I don't think he's as good as Penny, but I do. No, I think he is S tier. And honestly, for the sake of this, I'm moving SGA up to S tier. I can't just split hairs, right? If I'm gonna if I'm gonna have the good point guards at S tier, I'm gonna put all the good point guards at S tier. It's not like I can have some at S tier, some at A tier, and just pick and choose because I don't think that's very good of me to do, especially when it's all preference based. Again, I have my own preferences. I'd run Divincenzo before D book, and so why would I have Divincenzo at A tier and book at S tier? It just does not make sense. Evan Bobley, A tier, right there next to AD. Now, obviously, I think most people are going to prefer AD. He's got an easier release to green, easier to time. But Evan Mobley probably plays better defense with his better player build. Both cards, really solid. Gary Payton, I got to go A tier or GP. And I know some people might have him higher because he does have the D-book dribble style. And is he better than DiVincenzo? I mean, it's just tough for me. Because I think DiVincenzo is a more complete card than Gary Payton. I don't know, man. I, I really do not know what to do here at the point guard position. I'm going to go back on my word. I'm going to go back on my word. 
It's what I'm gonna do. Like, I'm sorry. I think Drew is better than Gary Payton and DiVincenzo. And so Drew, for my defensive small point guards, is gonna be the only one in S tier. Otherwise, S tier is just gonna be full of point guards because I can't figure it out. Giannis for diamonds. I mean, I guess I'll go A tier. I mean, no, I, I gotta go. I gotta, I gotta still go S tier. Giannis is gonna be Giannis. Look, I mean, his release, it is what it is. His defense, it is what it is. Defensively, still the best, if not one of the best cards in the entire game. Glenn Rice, I actually see people using this card. He stinks, C tier. If you're running Glenn Rice, all I can say is I'm sorry. Get him out of your lineup. Gordon Hayward, I mean, C tier. You're better than Ant. You're better than Dominique Wilkins. You're better than, than Devin Vassell. But let's be honest with ourselves. Let's not hype you to the moon. You're not great in my team. Grant Hill, he's not horrible. B tier, like his release, in my opinion, is just a little too slow. The Vando base, defensively he's solid. He's just your average type of small forward in my team. He's not, if you run him, he's not gonna go out there and hurt you, but he's not gonna be, you know, that elite level of a player in my team. Greg Oden, I'm a massive fan of Greg Oden. I'm plugging him in A tier. The things that Greg Oden does, it literally, he's basically a, a, a mini Hakeem. And, and I think people need to realize that if you need a good center and you can find a way to get Greg Oden, I mean, he is fantastic. Is he better than D-Rob? No. And so I can't really say he's worth the MT, but Greg Oden is fantastic. Isaiah Thomas, F tier. I'm not going to hype up a garbage man. J.R. Smith, D tier, another garbage man. Jack Sigma is not a garbage man. I'm throwing Jack Sigma at A tier. And I know he's a different type of big man in my team, right? A lot of these cards are going to play more defense than Jack Sigma. But when you talk about stretch bigs with a good release, Jack Sigma has to be talked about. Jamal Murray, D tier. His release, just horrible. James Harden can still cook. I mean, B tier probably for Harden because defensively is so bad, but this card can absolutely still cook. Diamond Jalen Brown at this point, at this stage, I still think he's C tier, better than, you know, a, a Devin Vassell, J.R. Smith type of player. JT, Jason Tatum, A tier, I'm going S tier. I still think Jason Tatum is S tier to this day. Like, if you know how to use Jason Tatum, he can be an absolute cheese ball in my team. Jeremy Grant at this stage, I mean, the card's just not great. I mean, where, where, do, where am I supposed to put him? C tier? Like, he's, he's probably B tier. I just do not love Jeremy Grant. My team, Joe Dumars, I mean, I guess D tier at the point guard position. Problem is, you're supposed to run Dumars and Isaiah Thomas together for the duo. And I just can't do it. A lot of diamonds on this tier list. Over 70, I think 75 players. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. Drop a like on it. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.